starting episode of Pokemon Go. Today is three years on. What are we still missing for Pokemon Go? This is a personal list of things I believe we are missing from the game. I would love to hear from all of you once you've heard my list. Is there things that you personally also believe we are missing? Let's get into it. So, in no particular order, this is my list of things I believe needed to be added, need to be improved, and just generally be in the game for us all. Starting off with the rest of Gen 3. Can we seriously finish off the generations that we have behind us before we move on to the future generations? Like seriously, we still have Gen 3 Pokemon waiting. Biotic, if you are listening or watching, come on people! Give us the rest of these generations, and then give us the future gens. Because it is a bit ridiculous waiting for things from a previous generation when you're already lining up for a Gen 5 release in, let's be honest, October, like they have done in previous years. We'll see it dropping with Halloween. Here's another one. I believe we're missing. A way to interact with other players that isn't PvP or trading. Like an in-game chat. How many times would we have to berate you? Give us a damn chat already. Let's be honest. I know I would love to have a way to be able to communicate with my, even just my ultras and my best friends. And say, hey man, I'm online. Let's do something in the game. Like a trade, a PvP. Or just simply tee up a raid with these people. Now this is something I have said before and I'm going to say it again because I personally believe in it. A story mode. The game needs something that isn't. Just go out and catch some Pokemon and do a raid and do a trade and PvP. Because to me personally raids are very stale now. It's the same crap over and over again people. Let's be honest. Tap, 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 and you're done. You beat it or you lose. That's raiding. That's PvP. It's just the same crap, just wrapped in a different bow. I'm sorry if I'm hurting a few people's feelings here, because I know some of you are probably going to be raid bosses. You love your raids. Well done. I'm so happy you enjoy them. But me personally, I'm kind of over them. I love something new. Story mode. Give us so you go, let's go again, say you fight 10 gyms. You go through, you fight 10 gyms, you do something on a gym. And then you unlock a gym boss. Like Brock, Misty, Lieutenant Surge, all of them. I would just love for that style. Give us some story. Give us something that isn't mundane. Here's another one for you to do with raids. Instead of making us wait for a bloody 120 seconds, if we're all there, let us start the raid straight away, hey? Give us a simple start raid button. It's not rocket science. Give us a way to skip the timer and jump straight in, especially if we're all ready to go. Something else with raids. Instead of giving us the way to delete raid passes, let us gift them. Let's go, well, I've got 500 raid passes and I'm not going to use them anytime soon. Let me give my best friend 10 raid passes, all one a day. You know, shift one of my raid passes to their account instead of simply deleting it. Because I'm sorry, you can't be telling me Niantic's going, hey, everyone wants them deleted. I can guarantee at least a third of you, if not three quarters of you, are going to be like, I would much rather have them myself or trade them to a friend so they can raid with me. The level cap needs to be increased or something needs to be done with it because level 40 is not what it was anymore. It's just whatever. We all can get to level 40, given time. Let's give the people who have been level 40 for, say, two and a half years something to say, well done, you're level 40, have prestige mode or a level cap increase. And prestige would work. I don't know how it would work, 
but I'm sure it would be better than going, oh, all I'm doing now is shiny checking every bloody Pokemon. Which, don't get me wrong, that's great. There's so many shinies out now. And I remember when there was like, what, Magikarp? And that was the only shiny in the game? Great. About time there's a lot of things to hunt. But at the same time, give these people who have been 40 for so long something to do in the game. Give them a new hurdle, new obstacle, something to target their energy towards. They go, hey, there's where I want to be. Megas. All right, I know Megas are going to come in the game eventually, but let's link it into something that it would actually work with. Like the prestige mode, there you go. There's something you could do. Link it to prestige. So once you get to 40, you have to then do so many tasks to get a mega stone. And they could turn into their own little cash cow if they really wanted to. Make it a breakable item. So you only get X uses from your mega stone. And then you have to get a new one. You could either A, buy it, or do another bunch of quests to eventually get one. Just an idea there, Niantic. And here is one more that I personally believe we need. Breeding. Breeding people. Let's bring breeding in, so at least then we can have something to work our better IV Pokemon towards. So then everyone can eventually get their hundos. You can have your breeders. I remember in the main series, people who would breed thousands and upon thousands of Pokemon to get the perfect Pokemon, the 100%. No faults in them, they were perfect. What are you doing with them now? Right now, 100% is that, like, oh look, I've got 100%, well done. That's all it is. What else do you do with them? You power them up, you do a battle, and they just sit there. The breeders would go mental for 100% Pokemon. They can breed all their shit. Imagine going out and going, right, I need to get myself 100% Ditto. So I can breed my 98% Tyranitar and ideally may get 100% Lavatar. I would love it. And I'm sure a lot of people who have played the main series would also love it. That's just my opinion here. Again, leave comments down below. I'd love to hear from all of you and for you to tell me what I've missed, what you would like to see in the game. Because we can always do a part two. And on that note, I love you. Until next time, Night Clasher, signing off.